Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Nasal Farm Extended. Now, I'm not even sure what we're doing today, we just did a bit of odd jobs today because we need to refill the uh, the grain dryer, which is where we are right now. Now, apparently with the released version, there seems to be some issues with the grain dryer. Um, unfortunately, I do not know how to fix that because my version actually didn't come broken, so all I can recommend is stay tuned for Tom's videos or something or his Facebook for fixes. So yes, yeah, so we're going to fill it up with straw, that's the only thing we need today. I'm actually going to take these small bales out because we do not need them. The uh, grain dryer doesn't accept them, unfortunately. So we'll quickly dunk this one off here. And uh, we want the big one that's in there. We've only got one left, so we need to go ahead and start baling some more for some big bales because we need to keep this thing full, basically. Um, let's see if we can push this one out of the way. This small one here. There we go. We'll get that in a second. I'm stuck on something. So yes, very, very glad to see that most of you guys are upset that Thornton Farm is unfortunately gone now. It means a lot because we got to like 42, I think it was, and people still were not bored of it. They still liked watching Thornton Farm, which really is an indication that it was a great map. And I can't agree more. Auction David done a fantastic job. I said that in the last video. But yes, guys, don't worry. It is gone for a good cause. We're not replacing it with any other map. We're literally waiting for 17 now. But in the meantime, we're just going to be dilly-dallying around. Sorry with Naveswell and White Oak Farm because we're not that far into it, basically. Now, I need to line myself up so we can actually get this into here. Let's put our headlights on so we can actually see. There we go. There's the hole. Get in. Go, go, go. Get in. No, oh, it's just making my uh, telehandler go up on its two wheels. Dang it. Let's see if we can ram it in. Not very realistic, but there seems to be some sort of weird collision thing going on here. Right, let's just pick up and start again. Right, oh, uh, there we go. We got it in the end. So that's a bit of a pain in the bum to get in, but we've done it now. So we'll go ahead and get our lights off again there, because it's making us have some frame rate issues. I hope that's fixed for 17. Right, we'll get all that gizmos off. And that should be us done today with the uh, the Merlot. We shouldn't need to do it again. Let's just close this. How do we close this again? Completely forgot. I think it's M. Oh. There we go. Oh. So inside now we have 100% straw, 97% fuel, and the grain 77%. We've only got 37% of uh, dry grain, so it's not even worth picking up just yet. I don't even know where you get it from. Oh, there. That's where you get it from. So now that's done, what we need to do is also feed our cows some silage. We're going to see how much they've had so far. So feeding through silage is at zero. So what we're going to do is tab through back to the yard... So yes, the cows have got zero silage that they've ate so far, so we're going to give them some silage today, because in a few episodes ago, well, a few episodes ago, we um, harvested that cornfield and turned it into silage. But before we do that, we need to put the silage body onto this Marston trailer. So we're going to get the JCB real quick, which is right here. And we need to get our little weight. Let's go ahead and get that booted up. Right. Come on. Massive delay with this tractor. Right. So yes, we're going to attach the uh, special weight that we've got, which is in the bush somewhere. There it is. Okay. Let's get that hooked up. Reverse back. And hopefully we can get a range of this trailer without glitching it out or anything. Because there we go. We'll go ahead and turn this off. And we'll see what we can do here. So we'll open that up. And we should be able to press Z now. Or Z if you're American. Uh, so we want the silage. Right, so I just realised. To do this, what you need to do is... Sorry, I didn't realise this. You have to actually remove the sheet. So let's go to the sheet real quick. Where's the sheet? There it is. So we want to... What colour have we got? Red? Okay, we're going to detach that. I don't want to sell it, just detach it for now. Uh, we want to get the silage body on, which for some reason we don't own. Which we should, because we've used this trailer before for this, which is strange. Only £2,500, don't worry about that. We'll attach that. It looks like this is all glitched out. This is actually meant to be already purchased, but... Okay, we'll just go with it for now. <laughs> Silage bit. Yeah, everything seems to have gone missing, which is strange. Maybe we should use the other trailer. Oh, well, there we go. So now we have it in silage mode. Mold? Silage mode. We're going to take this down to the BJ. Let's get that closed. We don't need that anymore. In fact, I'm just going to leave the whole JCB here for now. And we'll jump into our 698T. And uh, 
I think it was this one with the silage body, actually, which is a bit awkward. I swear they both had it. But anyway, yes, we're going to jump into this and head down to the BGA and start loading this trailer up to take over to our cows. We could actually use the mixer wagon, which means this is all a waste of time. Um, no, we'll use this. This has probably got more fuel load, fuel capacity. Now, I'm going to do this realistically. Now, I could literally just fill this trailer up, drive to the trigger and press Q, but that's a little bit unrealistic, I think. So what I'm going to do is actually dump the silage into a nice little pile. Actually, can we feed them through a bucket? I don't think we can. If we can, we'll do that. If not, we'll just unload it All right, again, shall we? There we go. So yes, I'm going to head down to the BGA and I'll meet you guys there. Right, okay, everybody, so we're just coming up towards the uh, the BJ now. We've still got the uh, the water trailer there, actually, because we were meant to be doing some water in a couple episodes ago, but we never ended up doing it. So we're going to find somewhere to park in here, actually. Let's go into third person. So there's our silage ready to go. Um, I think what we're going to do is park our trailer directly behind it. So let's get ourselves lined up here. I think we've... Have we done this before? We possibly may have done this before with the mixer wagon. That was it, I think. So let's go ahead, put this here. Get our indicators, our hazard lights on. Turn it off. No, they don't stay on. There's definitely something wrong with my um, my light add-on mod. So we're going to jump into the Volvo wheel loader right here. Let's uh, lower that down. Get it booted up. Reset the camera here, and we'll start loading this trailer. I'm not sure... How many buckets this is going to take? Hopefully not too many. There we go. There's that first one. Hopefully we actually have enough height on this thing to actually get it in. I'm going to go into third person for this, I reckon. It baffles me that this thing's two different colours, I'm going to be honest. But um, yeah, we're just going to play it off as if it's old. Oh, we can only just do this. So there we go. Unload the first load there. And the 698T is 15% full, so that's not even a quarter done yet. So we're going to need a, about four and a half buckets if maths is a thing I'm good with, which I'm not. Because <laughs> it should, hopefully, fingers crossed, take us up to 30% now. So yeah, 369 and then another 10%. So just, just under five buckets, I reckon. Now, of course, it's going to be too much to give to our cows altogether, so we're going to uh, give some to our sheep as well. Load that one in. We are clipping through the top, but there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the game doesn't let you put silage into normal trailers. Well, any of the trailers I have, anyway. Maybe there's some modded ones out there that do accept it. Unfortunately, this one doesn't. Let's go ahead and load that up. Actually, it may have done. It may just be you can't probably forage into the when it's not in the uh, silage body but oh well too late now Let's get another one I meant 10 buckets by the way I've just realized idiot I was doing it as if it was a uh, three 30 percent per bucket but it's not it's 15 so yes it's gonna be about 10 buckets unfortunately so we'll this should take up to 50 percent now Plus 50%. We're on 60% now, so yes. I'll finish this up, and then once again, we'll jump back. Right, guys. We're on 91% right here. We're just going to leave it at that. I don't think we're going to need the full bucket, if I'm honest. The full trailer, sorry. So I'm just going to get this out the way real quick. We'll park it back up in this shed. Which it should have been parked in anyway, to begin with. But for some reason, it wasn't. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that turned off. How do we get out of here? There we go. And we'll jump back into the 698T and take this up to our cow yard, actually. What's the lowest here? Sheep, actually, but I think they only eat grass. So we're going to do both of them if we can. Do the sheep eat silage? Apparently the sheep do eat silage, so we'll try and take it up to them as well if we can. But of course, our main priority right now is the cows because we want their milk and stuff. Not their milk, we want the uh, to sell them off eventually because they're worth more. How am I going to get out of here? That's the question. I have to maneuver around like this, I reckon. There we go. 
I need to send the 698T to uh, Tom, actually, if he wants it. So, Tom, if you're watching this, let me know if you want this 698T. You can have it. But there we go. So, now we just got the long drive back to the yard. And So, how are you guys doing anyway? So, I'm planning... That live stream never happened, unfortunately, but... Uh, I'm overrun with work, unfortunately, in real life, guys, so... It's getting in the way of YouTube a bit, which is why there's not been much videos out lately, but you guys already know this, because I've told you loads of times, so thank you for being so patient and stuff. Um, I will be live-streaming very, very soon, though. I need to get this field seeded again. Oh, there we go. Right, so we're just approaching the, uh, the cow yard right here. This could be interesting to see if we can actually get this trailer in without getting stuck, because it's reasonably quite big, I think, compared to this map. So, um, it looks like we might really get it in easy peasy, actually. Yes. Easy. So the cows are so patiently there waiting for their food. Not surprised, they're probably starving to death. And we'll see if we can unload it here. Now, once again, I did check, you can't unfortunately do it with the buckets. It doesn't pick up, for some reason, the trigger. Ha! Huh. So apparently, despite cow productivity being on 35%, apparently we can't feed them anymore, which is weird. Uh, let's try the sheep yard, I'm sure. But we fed them at exactly the same time, so it's going to be exactly the same. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Right, now the question is, are we going to be able to get this trailer across that bridge, or do we have to take the uh, the shortcut? We're not going to risk it, we're going to take the, uh, it's not really a shortcut, it's actually longer, but we're going to take the detour, just in case this Stuart trailer is a little bit too wide for that bridge. Plus, I do like taking this way, it's quite adventurous. So, through the river. There we go. Up, up, up. So yes, anyway, you guys now have this map, so how are you finding it? I think it's a beautiful map. So, as far as I'm aware, the Tom hasn't said this to me, to my fit, like, he hasn't told me this specifically, but this is what I assume is going on. At the moment, you guys are beta testing it for FS17. So I think this is going to be an FS17 map now, because it's obviously, Farm Sim 15 is over in about a week. And 17 is out in, not that long now, I think it's like four, three days. What day is it today? Wednesday today, so it's out in six days Wow, that's come quick. It's come really, really quick. I don't even know why we're doing this, because the sheep at exactly the same time as the cows, so they're not going to accept this silage either. But they're on 5%, so I'm not quite sure what else they want from me, if I'm honest. That's the field we did in the last video, if you saw that. Right, so it's good we turn into here. Now, I've just realised, actually, we have some uh, swaths waiting to be collected. I think we're going to do that with a round baler. We need to buy one because the John Deere one we had was only rented. And that's the one we use now down at the grain drying facility. Or grain drying plant, whatever. So yes, yeah, so we need to go ahead and get some more round bales. So I think we may buy that. We have £183,000, so it shouldn't be a problem. What the hell is going on, man? It says they're starving to death. <sighs> right, so... Uh, for some reason, the sheep say they're hungry... But they won't accept this. So no idea what's going on there, guys. Do apologise for wasting your time. But we do have another job to do. So what I'm going to do is turn this off. Uh, actually, we'll go buy that baler. Should we have a look? You guys never actually seen inside my uh, store. Let's have a look. So £70,000 and it's ours. What was that? How come I've never seen this trailer before? Doesn't matter. Um, we're going to use... I think we're going to use the case for this one, so we'll go ahead and use this case. Now, for those of you wondering, you keep I keep getting comments saying, how do you take the handbrake off this thing? It's the number 7. It's not the keypad 7, the actual number 7. So that's how you take the handbrake off this thing. Meanwhile, we're going to head down to the store and collect our new baler and start doing some baling in the short amount of time we've got left. Uh, you guys see me bail last video on Thornton Farm, so I'm not going to do too much today. I'm just going to show you that we've started the job, essentially. 
Right, okay, everybody, so we are now down at the sheepyard once again. The mass is still over there somewhere. But we're going to make a start on this, like I just said. Um, so we've got the John Deere baler here, which we had in a previous video. Not sure how we set this up. It's a bit manual, this one. So uh, there's where we keep our wraps and stuff, by the look of it, or our twine. They put the wrong texture on that. Not really going to worry about it now, but... Wait, so open the side panel. Okay, that's just all the workings and stuff. That's the twine up there. Place in work mode. That's what we want. Which basically puts the wheels down here, essentially. And I believe it's now ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump back into the, the case. Let's turn that off. Let's get it booted up again. Awesome. And I think we are now ready to go. So we'll start her up. Not sure why the uh, schematic thing's not working. Whatever it's called. Schematics, whatever. We'll lower it down. And it is actually working, which is good. So um, I was a bit worried because it wasn't lighting up green then. And we'll make a start with this. So uh, this episode's been a bit random, guys. It didn't exactly go to plan. We're meant to be feeding our animals because for some reason they're starving to death. But uh, they also don't want food, which I'm a bit confused by. We're not going to be able to make that turning. Oh, well. We'll come back and get up the bits in a minute. So we'll do a couple of bales whilst we're here. Why not? It's not very straight, this. This field's a right mess. This is um, done by hired worker, in case you can't tell. So what we'll do is we'll probably do like two bells and then we'll call it an episode. So I'm actually going to go to the end of here and then do a little loop-de-loop, -loop, I think. I think that's going to be the best solution. This thing's got a really bad turning circle. Look at that. We're not even going to make this, I don't think. There we go, actually, we kind of made it. So what are we on now? 67%. Actually, what we need to start doing as well is find the actual bale trailer. I have no idea where the bale trailer is. And we're going to need to collect our bales at some point as well. Let's just back up here. Right. So where is... Right, so 98, 99, 100. Awesome, we'll lift the pickup up. We'll unload this first bell here. There she is. So that's the bells that the uh, grain dryer accepts on this particular map. Get back and forward here. Lower the pickup. And we'll continue. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode, guys. Sorry it was a bit of a fail. And like I just said, I thought they would need feeding because it said they did, but it won't let me do it. But we got some work done, which is handy. Ooh. So yeah, we've got the grain dryer back up and running again. Um, there's going to be an episode straight after this one. I'm going to try and start doing double uploads for the, uh, re the remainder of the week. What have we got now? Six days. So yes, I'm going to try and do double uploads. It's not a promise, but it's a me telling you that I'm going to attempt to do it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please tap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more. I've been Simulate Gaming. I'll see you in the next one.